Hi guys, I'm at home today in my kitchen, so welcome. I want to show you a new dish from, yep, you guessed it, from my new cookbook. So it's the Easy Indian Slow Cooking Cookbook. It's available on Amazon for pre-order now, so get over to Amazon.com and place those orders. I think the slow cooker works really well um, to get those spices and infuse all of those aromatics that Indian food or authentic Indian food is known for. This book covers dishes from soups or shorba right through to desserts from um, a cheesecake through to um, tamarind or imli ribs that I've done. So today, the dish that I'm going to show you how to put together is this one. It's masala gosht, there it is. And essentially, this is a um, slow-cooked pulled lamb curry dish. Um, and what we need to do is make a marinade that we are going to put onto the lamb. And I'm using lamb shoulder, and I'm using lamb shoulder on the bone because I think that you get a lot more flavour um, that comes from the meat when, when meat is cooked on the bone. Um, so we're going to put that marinade on and then we're going to create a lovely masala sauce um, that we're going to cook in the slow cooker and we're going to place that lamb in there and just leave that to cook for six hours. And the result will be that that lamb will be really tender, it'll be really easy to shred and you can serve that with a salad, you can serve it with roti, naan bread, um, but the kids today have instructed me that they want to have it with some naan bread just tucked inside. So um, I've got to do that um, for them, being mum and all of that fun stuff. But the slow cooker, why it's so good is that it gives you a little bit of your time back. Once you've got the food in there, it just does its thing. Do the cooking that you want to provide for your family and all of that kind of stuff, but it gives you time to go off and do all your other bits. So I'm spending the rest of the day catching up on emails and various bits and pieces. So let me just show you what I've got here. So I've got my spice tin, my masala dabba here, which has got all the spices I need. I've got some chilies, I've got some ginger, some garlic, a little bit of water. My slow cooker, which is the KitchenAid um, multi-cooker, and it's got a few more functions than a standard slow cooker does, but um, this dish is perfectly fine in just a normal slow cooker. First thing you need to do is make sure that your lamb fits in the slow cooker, so just test it because if it doesn't fit, you'll be chopping it up all later. But if you do it at the beginning, it means that you can um, rest easy, that it's gonna all fit in fine. Lamb shoulder can be quite fatty. Um, and with this cooking method, because everything goes into that pan, everything stays in that pan, um, you just wanna make sure that there's not too much grease at the end of the cooking process. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit of that fat off. And I'm not gonna get rid of all of it because you know, some of that is going to give us some lovely flavour, but it's just the big fat chunky bits that I'm just going to just trim off. Just scoring that to make sure we get lots of lovely flavours penetrating through. For the spice blend, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of coriander seeds, which are these lovely things. Now, coriander gives a really lovely, almost citrusy zing to dishes. Two teaspoons of cumin seeds and I'm going to grind that up first. Okay, that's looking good. It's smelling lovely as well. So into that I've got my garlic. So I've got about six cloves of garlic. I'm going to put in two chilies. Now remember with Indian food it's about how you like it. So you don't have to add a lot of chili if you like it hotter then you can add more chili it's really up to your personal sort of preference as to what you do and then we're going to put some ginger in as well now with the ginger I'm just going to pop the whole thing in I'm not going to worry about peeling it I've washed it um, it will grind up so that should have all ground down there you go you end up with that almost like that wet paste now into that I'm going to add some chilli powder as well, um, predominantly for a little bit of colour. So pop a little bit of chilli powder in there and I'm also going to add a little splash of water just to make more of a paste. There we go, so we've got more of a wet sort of paste and it's changed colour because of that chilli powder. So I'm just going to scoop that out and I'm going to start to marinate my lamb with it. Into that I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just some 
a teaspoon of um, sea salt. And I'm also going to put in some turmeric. So I'm going to take half of that and I'm going to start to smear that onto the lamb. And just rub that all in. It smells delicious already. It smells really good. You can leave the lamb for as long or as little time as you like. If you're going to leave it overnight, just cover it in cling film and just pop it in the fridge. But it's going to sit there and just get all of those lovely flavours from the marinade penetrating into it. So it'll be lovely and delicious. Um, to cook the lamb, we're going to make the masala sauce. So you need to get your slow cooker on either saute or high, depending on um, what which slow cooker you have. We're going to get some onions ready, which... I've got four of here that I've sliced nice and thinly. We've got our second lot of spices. So we've got cassia bark here, which is similar to cinnamon, but it's slightly more sweet in its flavour. Um, we've got the lovely love it or hate it cardamom pod. So we've got four of those. And when you use them, you just need to crack them open a little bit before you put them into the dish. We've got a couple of bay leaves and we've got some malt vinegar, about a tablespoon there. I've also got some jaggery here. Now, if you've not used jaggery before, it's essentially a unrefined brown sugar that we use in Indian cooking quite a lot. Um, if you can't find that, just um, a muscovado um, or a demerara, uh, just a brown sugar will be fine. So about a tablespoon of that. We've got some sea salt. I've got a roughly chopped up um, tomato, actually two tomatoes there. My oil, um, which I tend to use rapeseed oil, and then the remaining um, blend of the spices that we made earlier. So about two tablespoons, and then straight into there, we are going to add our onions. And our spices, and the bay leaves, and we're just gonna give that a really good stir. So we just want to cook these for about four or five minutes, just on the high heat of your slow cooker. You want to have a quick look in there. So I'm going to pop in the jaggery or your brown sugar. I'm going to pour in the vinegar. That will make it really nice and sticky. And then we're going to pop in the rest of the spice mix that we made earlier. And then I've got some water, I've got about a cup of water here, and just a little tip, just pour it into the, the tub that you've made your blend in, because we don't want to lose any of those lovely flavours, and also this will add moisture to the dish as well, so just get all the rest of that, and then pour that into your cooker. Pop in your tomatoes. And the remaining bit of salt. It's really important to season your dish as well. Um, don't add too much because you can always adjust it later but just make sure you do add a little bit of seasoning during cooking. So I'm gonna let that cook just for another minute or so. So once that's started to heat up I'm gonna go in with my lamb. Just pop that in and try to immerse it and then just cover over with the rest of the sauce. Turn your cooker on to low and I'm going to leave that on there for about six hours. Now if you want to leave it for longer and you can do there's no harm in that at all. Pop the lid on and then just leave it. So the lamb's still cooking away it's got two hours and six minutes left. I know you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to take the lid off during the cooking, but I just want to show you inside. It's all getting really nice and juicy. It smells amazing. So we're going to leave that with the lid back on for another couple of hours. So it's the end of a busy day. Um, the slow cooker has been on all day. Um, so the lamb has been cooking for about six hours. It's now keeping warm, which is lovely. It's a really nice function to have. Okay, so if you look in there, it's all cooked. And then I'm just gonna let that sit on this chopping board just for a little while. And we're just gonna let that 
just start to reduce that sauce down. I'm going to use that to put on top. So with the lamb, all you want to do is just take a fork. If you look at how easily that just breaks away. So lovely, it's lovely colour inside and it smells absolutely incredible. And I'm going to serve this with some salad, um, some pomegranate because it gives a nice sort of zing, a little bit of yoghurt and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of mint on top, that classic combination of mint and lamb works with Indian flavours as well. And I'm going to wrap these up in some lovely little naans because that's what I've been told to do today. So I'm going to start to serve this because the kids are getting hungry. So once that sauce has reduced down and it's on high and it's at the right sort of consistency that you want, drizzle over a little bit of that really nice sort of thick masala sauce just for a little bit of moisture. And then I'm going to finish that with some fresh coriander, some mint, a little drizzle of yogurt and obviously you know you can finish this however you like I like it with a little bit of yogurt and some pomegranate seeds and I'm going to tuck that all up lovely wrap and as I said you can have this with rice if you want to you can have it with whatever you like but it's a really lovely way of cooking a piece of lamb shoulder so there you go I'm going to have to have a little taste, actually. Oh, it's really tender, it's really soft. But that's my masala ghost. A recipe from my new cookbook, the Easy Indian Slow Cooker Cookbook, available on Amazon. I hope you give it a go and give this recipe a go because it's really good. And obviously I want to hear exactly what you think about it. So um, take care, guys. Really good to see you.